Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our Laravel 9 e-commerce tutorial. So guys, now in this video, we are going to start with the authentication. Okay, so authentication means like login and registration system in Laravel 9. Okay, so guys, now we are not going to use any bootstrap UI or the view react any breeze login authentication. Okay, so instead we will be using pure Laravel authentication scaffolding. So guys, now let's get started. Yep, let's move to our application and open the terminal guys. As simple, let's run composer require. Composer require Laravel forward slash UI. Hit enter and let's wait for the UI package to install. So guys, the UI package is installed successfully. And now let's install the package of authentication scaffolding or scaffolding. So PHP artisan UI colon auth hit enter authentication scaffolding generated successfully perfect so now guys you can go to your application serve and now let's check the output so you get your login and register button so now guys let's uh, click on login here you see uh, the form is ready guys but the design is missed I mean the CSS is not linked why because we have not used any the breeze package or any other package okay so guys now to solve this we have to use a bootstrap so let's go to getbootstrap.com and include the CDN links so let's move getbootstrap.com and go to docs okay so it's coming under beta version guys so let's move to 5.1 itself where we can uh, handle correctly and now guys you can copy the CDN link or else let's integrate the bootstrap itself so you need to copy the link over here and just search in a new tab perfect so you get the bootstrap 5.1 version let's copy this file guys and we need to set up that first okay so you can go to your public folder create one folder with the name assets assets and creative folder again named css and inside that css we are going to create a file bootstrap min.css as simple copy code control c and control v that's it you need to remove this map okay commented code just remove that or else we'll be facing an error let's close this file and now let's create one folder called js to include the bundle file okay yep let's get back to the bootstrap and here you get your bundle file of bootstrap let's copy the link and open in new tab here you get the code of bootstrap 5 of bundle min.js copy the file name guys first and create that file name and now you can control a c and control v and you need to remove this code all set let's save and close the file perfect so now guys uh, if you're using any kind of js file you require a cdn link of jquery so let's go and get the jquery link jquery cdn link and here you get the release jquery.com now let's take the minified link okay so here you get this you need to copy the url and paste that now let's copy the file name and create a file jquery js file copy it and paste now you can close the file guys and now let's include these files okay as simple let's go to resource views and you will find your layouts folder inside that layout you find a appblade.php file let me close this so guys uh, let's include the files over here so first step here you find a link let's go to public folder assets folder css folder and now let's call the assets folder css folder and then your bootstrap min.css file and now here you find one script 
let's take this and include it below before your body tag so here you go and set up assets js and then your jquery file and your bootstrap file let me copy the file name copy and paste let's remove this differ guys so let's again copy this file name and paste that bootstrap bundle file perfect yep now you can get back to your login form and refresh here you get the output cool so now let's move with the register button perfect guys so you get all your output so now guys as we have seen that in previous video we installed the live wire but we did not apply it to this application okay so let's do that let's go to live wire so we have done the installation part you can just go to your composer json and here you find your live wire okay so this is my live wire version right now and let's include this live wire styles copy and paste that so just before your head tag you have to paste it and just before your body tag you have to paste this that's it guys all set okay so now guys let's register so before registering let's migrate all the tables into our database okay so here guys i have created one laravel e-commerce table so make sure you have added your database connection already and now let's migrate the tables guys php artisan migrate hit enter and here you see all the tables are migrated successfully and now you can begin with registration part so before starting with the registration let's check the database all set guys now you can get back to your application laravel ecom and now let's begin with registration of a user password confirm password and now you can register cool so you have registered successfully and logged in also successfully let's log out once and now let's begin with login with at gmail.com and the password let's click to login and here we logged in successfully perfect so now guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video with the admin panel integration for this laravel 9 e-commerce so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share